Hey guys, Trent here from How to Haven, back in with another quick tutorial. And today I'm going to show you a free and a safe way to convert your .mp4 to JPG files or other image files. Um, and we're going to use this app called FFmpeg. Uh, you can go to ffmpeg.org, I'll put that in the description. And it can be a little bit intimidating at first, but trust me, it's not that hard and it's incredibly useful. And just follow these steps and you're going to have no problem. The first thing you want to do is go to download. and I'm on Windows. If you're not on Windows, make sure you download the version for your operating system. Um, and just follow along and it should be pretty similar, but if you get stuck, just look up the equivalent for your operating system. So we're going to go to the Windows build by BTBN. This is the latest build. We're going to click on it. And here we're going to have all the different options. So the latest one that we will use is this one, FFmpeg, uh, so, so, so on and so on. Uh, you're just going to click it and it's going to start downloading. Um, I've actually already downloaded this, so I'm going to delete this. Or actually, I'll wait a sec. Because um, once it finishes, it's going to be downloaded as a .zip, and you're just going to want to extract it um, by right clicking and hitting. There you go. Right cl clicking and hitting extract here, and it will turn into this folder. Um, and then I, I renamed it to FFmpeg. So once you do that, you should have a folder in your downloads called FFmpeg. It should have all these things in it. Now go back, and you're going to want to move this. Let's move it to a different drive. Uh, so I'm going to use my local drive. You can use whatever, but I recommend using this for simplicity to follow along. Um, so then once it's in there, it should be good, right? OK. Now the next step is you're going to hit the Windows search key and go to Advanced System Settings. Uh, this will pop up. And what you're going to want to do is go to Environment Variables. You basically need to add this path to your computer. Uh, go down to System Variables, hit Path, hit Edit, and you're going to have a list of variables. Um, so this is the one we want to add. I'm going to delete it and re-add it to show you. Um, so basically, first go to FFmpeg, open this bin folder. And what you're going to want to do is right-click bin in the folder search bar, hit Copy Address, go back to this tab, um, hit New. And down here you'll have option to add something. Just paste that, uh, hit enter, and then hit OK. Hit OK again, and then hit OK a third time, and now it's in your path. So what we do next, basically we've just installed that for use on the command prompt. Uh, we're going to open up our command prompt, uh, just to get it going. And then let's go back uh, and go to videos, and we're going to add a folder for our frames to go into. So let's add a new folder and call it frames. This is the video we're going to use. Uh, it's just called flower.mp4. I'm going to add it into the frames folder, uh, just like that. Um, OK, now go back to our command prompt. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is to basically add um, or select where we want to go. So let's go to frames, copy the address. We're going to hit CD. So that address right there. Now we're on that. Next we want to add the directory frames. Um, so we're going to do mk, oops, um, hit enter, my bad. Um, so now we're going to do uh, mkdir, and then the folder name frames, hit enter. Now you've added frames as a directory. And now we're going to use our command to actually break the images into um, sorry, the file into different images. So this is the command. I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste it in the description for you. Um, the only difference is mine says flower.mp4, and you're going to change yours to your video file name. You can go like that, and it's actually going to start breaking that down for you. This is a very small file, so it's quick. Now if we go to our frames folder, you can actually see each frame is broken down into a different image. Quite a lot. And you can check to make sure the quality is the, the way you want it to be. I'm pretty happy with that. And now we've successfully turned our .mp4 into a .jpg. You can mess with the commands pretty easily to change things. If you're stuck, just go online and Google how to do it differently. Um, one thing to look out for is if you have spaces in your file name, you're going to want to put quotations around the name of the file when you use the command. Anyways, guys, I hope this helped. And please subscribe, give me a like, and I'll see you next time. Peace.